the Windows Pantry. So today I'm gonna re-season one of my cast iron pans. It's my favorite little skillet and I've got a dinner. I'm gonna make in it tonight and I thought, you know, it looks like it's needing a little bit of help. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-season it in the house. Usually I do this out on the barbecue, but I'm gonna do it in the house today in my little on-the-counter oven and it'll be quick and easy. It'll only take me about an hour, okay? So I'll bring you along for this. If you've never seasoned cast iron, this is pretty much how you're gonna do it. And you might have to do it two or three times if it's not um, coming to you pre-seasoned. So I hope this inspires you to stay along with me and maybe go check out my Wild Tree website down below and my Facebook page. And let's go get some seasoning on this cast iron skillet. All right, come okay, on. Okay, so it's really pretty quick. This is a, I'm gonna use a vegetable shortening. Um, you can see this, this is uh, dulled and it's because somebody's either washed it or not, you know, made sure they re-season it a little bit. I try to re-season them every time I use them on the burner, but sometimes it doesn't get done. And so you're just gonna coat the whole inside surface. And you wanna make sure you get these the lip of this as well and the handle it's kind of a messy job but we love it it's okay so now I've got the whole inside all all coated and now I'm gonna do the back side and I don't think that's gonna fit in my little oven so get a clean spot on this and get some more might have to put it in the big oven. If I do that, then I'm gonna season more than just one pan. And this is a little Lodge uh, cast iron pan that I got, oh, I don't know, oh, quite a while ago. It's my favorite pan for omelets and just it's just a really nice size. It's not too small, it's not too big, it's just right. Okay. And I've got that whole outside coat. And you want to put it, um, oh, it might fit in there. I just have to juggle it in. You want to put it down so any um, excess oil can run off of it. But honestly, truly, it's going to bake right on there and cause to have a nice non-stick seal. So let me make sure I've got, see a spot I might have missed. And over here, I don't want to miss any spots. And the back side usually is what gets neglected the most because, you know, it's not got the food in it and all that. But, okay, looks like we're ready to get it in the oven. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for one hour. And I'll bring you back when it's all done and it's starting to cool down. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it in my little on-the-counter. Um, it's not a toaster oven. It's an on-the-counter oven. I believe this is a GE. Uh, and it has, it'll has it rotisserie two chickens. People ask me about this oven all the time. Oops. And on the top here, this gets warm as well. It's a plate warmer and or bread warmer. Um, it's pretty handy. Uh, you, Toasting bread in it takes way too long, so that's why we have the toaster. Anyways, um, it's been a great oven. It's a convection as well as just a regular bake. So um, anyways, that being said, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, I've got the oven. Oh, it doesn't, the light won't come on unless the temperature's on. Anyways, so I've got this um, pan. has been in here an hour. It's had a chance to cool down a little bit. It's not all the way cool, so I'm still going to be careful. And, yep, it's still on. Turn that over, and I'm going to bring you over to the stove and show you what it looks like. Or maybe I'll just bring you over here. Hold on. Let's turn you around. And we'll put a, something down on the counter. Okay, i got to turn this off. <laughs> and hold on for the ride. Here we go. Oh, there we go. So that's what our pan looks like now. Um, it's actually had a chance to do some, I might actually do it again, because I still see some spots around here. I'd like them to look more like that uh, shinier 
area. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do this one more time. And um, But that's how you, you know, seal and re-season uh, your cast iron. I hope that this inspires you. I know a lot of people do videos on this. I've seen a few in the last few weeks. And um, they're all good. Sometimes you'll pull a little bit different information. You never know who's watching who. So... Uh, this is an easy way to do it in the house. I like to do it outside and do it on a hotter surface if I can, but uh, there's more than one way to season your cast iron. So there you go. If anything does stick, use a little bit of salt and just rub it right out. It comes right out. That's my scouring pad for cast iron is a little bit of kosher salt. So hope it inspires you. hope you come back. And I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and post this on your Facebook page and share this because a lot of people don't have this information. All right, guys, as always, God bless.